Today at Beth's Keto Kitchen, we're getting ready for the big game, making keto-approved party appetizers. So join me and let's get cooking. All right, so we're gonna get started on a fruit dip. The first thing I'm gonna do is make some whipped cream. So I have a cup of heavy whipping cream and I am just putting that in my little Ninja. And to that, I have a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And we'll just put the lid on. All right, and then we'll go ahead and blend this for about 30 seconds. Then take the cap off and scrape the sides down. Put the lid back on and pulse for another 30 to 60 seconds until your whipped cream is done. And that's it. Perfect whipped cream. And now we'll go ahead and whip up one brick of cream cheese that's already at room temperature. And then add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That is a tablespoon of brown sugar swerve. And we'll add two tablespoons of confectioner swerve. Then I have salted caramel skinny syrup. I'm adding a tablespoon of that. And then we'll mix. I always say taste it. So then add two more tablespoons of the caramel syrup. And now we'll add the whipped cream to that and give it another mix. And there you go, perfect fruit dip. Great, so let's just give this a taste and see what we think. I mean, you can certainly be generous with it. All right, let's taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That taste is, <laughs> taste is, you can tell I'm not used to having sweets. Oh my. For our spinach dip, we'll take one brick of softened cream cheese and mix that with our hand mixer. Scrape the sides. Then we'll add a 16 ounce container of sour cream. plus a half a cup of mayonnaise. And give that another mix. Scrape the sides, add in your spices, two sweetening packets. Now add green onions and the spinach and give it another mix. And I will have the complete recipe listed in the description box below. And this is really good with those Parmesan crisps. Yummy. I'm gonna get my canned chicken in here. And then I'm just gonna kinda of break that up with my fork so that it's all shredded good. So we're just trying to make these easy game day appetizers, party appetizers, and um, that's why I'm using a lot of the convenience foods. Because when you're getting ready to have people over or to just watch a game or have a little party and some snacks, we don't wanna spend the entire day in the kitchen. Okay, so that looks good. Let's add the cream cheese in there. Um, it's just a little bit in there, there we go. And I think I'm just gonna try to first get this kind of mixed up with my fork maybe, with the cream cheese and the... Blend up your cream cheese and your chicken. All right, let's add our spices. And again, I'll have the recipe in the description box below. Our green onions, our bacon bits. I'm gonna use one and a half bags of bacon bits and those were real bacon bits, a cap full of liquid smoke, a half a cup of hot sauce, 
your favorite hot sauce and a half a cup of ranch dressing. And I actually used all total a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and that was one cup of shredded cheese and a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And then mix that up well and we'll put that in a prepared casserole dish buttered. And then we're going to put this in our oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, cream cheese is kind of our theme for our party appetizers. Again, I will list all of the recipes in the description box below. And let's set our timer for 20 minutes. There we go. Okay. After 20 minutes, sprinkle cheddar cheese on top of your dip and some more bacon bits. Return to the oven with an increased temperature of 400 for another 10 minutes. Show you how delicious this turned out. Look at that. That's the buffalo chicken dip. I mean, you could just put that on your plate and eat it. That is delicious right there. So we'll put our sausage in the bowl. There we go. And I'm gonna add the spices. And the pork rinds and the Parmesan the bacon bits, and the egg. All right, I'm gonna put on a glove and we're gonna get mixing. All right, so mix well so all the seasonings get incorporated with the sausage. And then we're gonna add a cup of shredded cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you like and mix again. So I have my jumbo cookie scoop and that's what I'm going to use to make the meatballs. And then we'll just give them a little zhuzh around with your hands and put them in our air fryer basket. Over. All right, so roll out your balls and put into your basket. You should have a total of 24 sausage balls. We'll put this in our air fryer at 400 for 20 minutes. All right, so let's prep some veggies to go with our dip. I have got an English cucumber here that I washed and I'm just gonna go ahead and, I don't want it too thin because I wanna make sure that it will hold up to the dip. So maybe like about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. All right, so we're gonna keep everybody on track with our game day keto appetizers. We've got those sausage meatballs and I have G. Hughes barbecue sauce in there. Um, some celery, pork rinds, our buffalo chicken dip. Doesn't that look delicious? Remember our fruit dip and our strawberries. I've got some Parmesan crisps here to go with our spinach dip and a host of vegetables there. So, you guys can stay on track. You can have your party. You can have your potlucks and bring a keto appetizer. And I just want you to know that it's possible, that it's easy, and that it's delicious. So I hope that you all enjoyed this. And if you did, please hit like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'd love to hear your comments. Have a great night and enjoy the game. My house smells so good right now. So you guys, I'm gonna try some of this buffalo chicken dip. Oh my gosh, it's still steamy. Um, I think I'll try it with a celery stick and a little pork rind. And we should do, excuse my reach, a meatball while we're at it. With sausage meatballs. I'm gonna give it a bite. Oh my gosh, yum. That's really good. 
I have barbecue sauce for dipping, but I don't know if I'm gonna use that. All right, so let's try this dip. Mm. Actually, you know what? To heck with the celery. Who needs it? Let's just eat the dip, seriously. That's good stuff. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go get some spinach chip and for dessert I'll have a little bit of those strawberries with that fruit dip. So you guys, have a great night. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted of all my new recipe videos. Thanks again for watching everyone.